Hi everyone, uh, Jason here. Uh, I just sat down to go ahead and start doing the editing for uh, episodes uh, 86 and 87 of The Witcher, and I discovered that the in-game audio didn't record. Don't know why. I uh, I did my sound tests and everything before I um, you know before I actually started recording and. Uh, Everything was looking good, but, you know, now that I've opened up the file, it's gone, and I've basically spent well over an hour, so I'm not going to be re-recording all that, so I'm going to do my best to try to improve things. Maybe I'll do some voiceover for the NPCs so that you don't have to read things yourself. That will be time-consuming and annoying, but whatever, I'll go ahead and try it, and um, I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can find some Witcher music to overlay so it's not, so, so that the quiet parts are not so really quiet. Anyways, let's, uh, we'll get started with this, uh, sorry about that, uh, sound is back and everything is working properly again, uh, on parts 88 and up. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more of The Witcher. Last time we, uh, spoke with the Lady of the Lake, told her that Berengar, who we had spoken to just before that, uh, really wanted nothing to do with Destiny and we actually found out that Berengar worked willingly with the... Uh, it was Salamandra, which, you know, is obviously not, it's, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. So, um, as, as noted in our journal, he should pay for that, but I guess we're not doing that right now. Right now, we're looking for Alvin, who is said to be by the Riverside. Um, does this look a little, like, cut off in a really weird way? I'm sorry, I just looked up and I noticed, like, this, this, uh... This, this part of the menu just kind of looks like it's just sort of cropped really weird up here. Anyways, whatever. That's not important. Uh, we're gonna- we're following the path over to the, uh, the lakeside. Uh, I- I did just say river, but... The, the rivers and lakes are two distinct different things. I- 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 I'm aware of this. Um, and, uh, we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna look for Alvin and for- and, um... Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll continue from there. I suppose I should explain why we're going to find Alvin. Um, well, we, we discovered in an earlier thing, I'm not going to recap everything, you can go back and rewatch stuff, uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I, 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 want a, I want an excuse to revert, uh, or send you over to my other videos so that you can go there and I can collect all the ad revenue. Um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> the, the real reason is, I can't remember, uh, but I'm going to play it off like I'm just like, no, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, my entrepreneurial spirit is like, no, no, this is the way for me to get them to go check out my other videos. Anyways, sorry. Um, apparently something's wrong with Alvin, and we've got, uh, Triss had sent an amulet, uh, what is it, a dime, uh, whatever, something amulet? Where is it? It's a cat harness. That's what we need. We need to put a cat harness on, on Alvin. No. Uh, d d where's the amulet? There's an amulet, it's a die something. d m m m m m a Dimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
the, the proper sword for the job, but you know, Jason, you're playing on hard. Even if that's how the uh, the game worked, I suspect that uh, that's not something that would happen. It's uh, you're playing on hard. You're supposed to you're supposed to be a witcher. You're supposed to know what you're doing, right? All right, let's uh, actually let's no, come on, just put put, put the sign down. Do it, do it. Okay, so after dodging, I have to actually move a little bit before I can use a sign. All right, there we go. Come on, come step over it. Ha ha! Now I'll fight you on the sign. It's totally effective. Can I can I knock it backwards now into the sign? Holy crap! This thing is uh, tough. That is like one of the tougher devourers we've had to fight. You saved me. I was scared. Everything is all right. I know. Why were you playing by the river? I found a wounded dog! Shani says we should care for those who get hurt! Ugh, what was I thinking? Pick up sticks? Maybe we could settle down together? Hmm. At least I stopped short of proposing. <sighs> Shani deserves someone normal. Someone who will care for her, not wander the world risking his neck for a handful of coin. I have no right to put her and Alvin in that position. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. Interesting. I have a gift for you. You like this dimerit... Dimerit... Yeah. Dimetrodon necklace. Question mark? Necklaces are for girls! Shut your mouth, kid. I wear one too. This will keep your nightmares at bay. Holy cow! An amulet like yours? You want to live with total strangers out here? I mean, Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe, and I feel bad. They are totally an omen. I mean, just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? Witchers protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Cut the crap, Alvin. Put on the necklace. Duan, look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin? Now, do you see the necessity of this action? No matter the price? Geralt. Open your mind. Um. I'm gonna see if I can focus on other matters. Okay, well, th that was nice and, um. The heat of the day. I must find Julian and warn him. Of what? Of, uh, of, of Alvin's dreams? That we're, you know, we're telling Alvin, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. How like an adult to just lie to a child? A giant centipede. If I recall correctly, do we not have a. Quest for, or, uh, yeah. There we go, giant centipede. The elven cra craftsman is buying giant centipede carapaces. He'll pay anyone who delivers four of them. I need to collect four chitinous carapaces for the elven craftsman. Now, uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about needing uh, an entry. Yes, the quest can only be completed for, so Alp and Basilisks. Nope, just Alp. So I can kill the, the giant centipedes from here. Okay, that, that's cool. Do I have a journal entry on uh, giant centipedes? And that would be helpful. I'd like to read up on them before I go fight them. I do not have an entry, which kind of sucks. I need to find like a, a bookseller and uh, uh, buy some more monster manuals. Yes, uh, that's what I'm calling them. They are monster manuals now. Uh, yes, interesting. Those those little cutscenes that we get. Okay, where are you, giant centipede? Whoa! Come on. Oh, oh they're, they're, so that's how you work. You pop out of the ground and then... Dang. These things are, uh... Kind of frightening. In that you don't know exactly where they're, uh, popping out, right? Oh, dang. Alright. I, I think I could take it. 
I think it's almost gone if I can get one more uh, sign off on it. Darn it. Dove underground just... Is it gonna pop up in the same spot? Yeah. All right. Because I, I, was, I, I was scared it was gonna start moving around, right? Right? It was gonna keep uh, coming up in different areas, but it's, it looks like it's a lot like the... Um, what do you call those? Echinops? The, uh, the plant things, right? They, they tend to always come up from the same place because, you know, they're plants and they tend to stay in one spot because, you know, that's what plants do. Plants plants don't typically uh, move around all over the place. I love how the remains are a bunch of bones, like human bones. Okay, did, did I get a, a carapace? Yeah, right there. Uh, I say chitness. It's, I, I understand it's, the pronunciation is supposed to be something like kitness, but... It sounds weird to me, so I'm just gonna say chitness. So anyone who wants to correct me, just know that I know the, the, the proper way to say it, but I am deliberately saying it a different way. Because I am a dumb. Chitness carapace, valuable ingredient. High quality chitin? Yes, kit, chitin. Uh, from a giant centipede's carapace. Some merchants will gladly purchase it. Awesome. Um, I don't know if we're gonna keep uh, fighting more of those for now. Uh, apparently I have to go warn Julian. Uh, that thing dropped my health down to... Actually, you know, I could probably take at least one more. One more before I would, uh, I would require, uh, an actual rest. Uh, yeah, that'll give me a chance to talk a little bit about that, that little, uh, cutscene. It seemed like, um, the cutscene. The, the little, uh, the little, and, uh, the, um, the little painted thing, which actually I, I love the art for. I love those. When I see those, I'm like, oh, these, it's, it's always, it's actually a pretty well, um, painted thing. I, I, I like those little cutaways. But anyways, um, Geralt's perspective, it, it sounds like he's, um, it always sounds like he's... Hey, are those, uh, some more of those little, uh, bogeys? The, um, brownies that we, yeah, that we ran into, into the, in the crypt. Interesting. These guys? <laughs> Interesting. So you can uh, give some uh, out some alcohol. So basically, it, you have to give things that would be used as a potion base. Interesting. Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. It even shows you right here. There's a bottle right here on the ground. I'm kind of curious what happens. Okay, so let's let's save. Um, because I'm gonna I'm probably gonna load my game because I'm I'm doing this for science. We're we're doing this as an experiment. I don't want to actually use my uh, potion bases here. Um... Yeah, I definitely don't want to use my high quality ones, so I just want to use something basic. Uh, strong alcohol potion base, local pepper vodka, sure. Received four-leaf clover. What's the four-leaf clover do? Hello, four-leaf clover? Oh, it's a quest item. A small dried clover with four leaves, commonly held to be a symbol of luck. Quest item. Interesting. Are you leprechauns? I, I, I went with with all the other like no name small things like you know uh, <laughs> brownies, bogies, and some of that. You know, leprechauns never crossed my mind. Okay, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I will uh, save my game like that. Who are you guys? It looks like you're uh, fixing uh, the bridge, eh? Uh, oh yeah. Trying to get my health back up. Let's continue eating some food. It'll... Oh, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Hey, Pat, how's it going? Great, thanks, sir. Never mind this, sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. S Geralt, how are you with a bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. A yes? What? Man, he just walks up. He's like, you look like you're an archer. How good are you with a bow? And it's like, wow, Geralt's, Geralt's insight into people's lives is amazing. Like he, he, he can spot an archer from like a mile away. He's like, that guy there is an archer. I mean, uh, from what I understand, uh, like skeletal structure, or is it like, yeah, from the, the structure, like longbowmen, um, I remember reading something about how they would have, uh, altered like physical structure just because of how much, uh, strength it required to pull, pull back on the, um, oh crap, what do you call that? I'll call it a string for a lot for, for because of my brain fart. Um, but yeah, their arms had to be like 
like were like massive. Oh, they were a little lopsided uh, because of that. Uh, but this guy looks like he's pretty evenly um, built out with his muscles. So, anyways, uh, don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, uh, th the doors wouldn't close, the stairs are such that even the cat fears uh, them, and when it rains, I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck with that. Yes? Alright, I feel like we were supposed to speak to the other guy first. Because I feel like the other guy was supposed to give us information that would be pertinent to... Or we would explain what, what's going on here. Um, hey, Mason Arn! You know, I should, I know, I knew I should have spoke, spoken to you first. Because, uh, you have two names. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. There's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. I'm terrified of forests and meadows. Need a witcher? Mm hmm? You're a witcher? Yes. Hmm, sir? <laughs> allow me Allow me to repeat myself. Do you need a witcher? Hmm, my life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? Hmm, you see, I had a dream. The river ghosts beg me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remain attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. Well, how can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. Hmm, a waiter is General Griggs. My okay. help will cost you. Hmm, do you wish 400 orins or a book about specters and the king of the wild hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Hmm, visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Oh, I kind of like those rewards. I should see a healer and ask her how to deal with Griggs. All right, so yeah, we've. We, uh, I'm. I'm assuming that's Alina. Oh, there's a giant centipede over there. Perfect. Um, I wanted to. I wanted to kill one more before I, I, I ran back to town. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, I. Uh, I find. I, I find it interesting the way. Um, oh, I can't pull my sword out yet. Not until I'm actually attacked. Okay. Oh, you're right on you. Okay. Oh, there's two- oh crap, this is not good. Uh, can I group style this? Holy crap, this is not good! Where- where are you? Holy crap! I'm telling you, man, group style is like the- the most deadly fighting stuff. Can, can I use it one-on-one -on -one here? Like, I'm, I'm fighting one-on-one, -on -one and... Okay, yeah, it, it doesn't look like... When, when you, it looks like when you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't seem to be as effective. But I just killed... Two of them. I got, I got attacked by three giant centipedes, and I just wrecked them. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, um, yeah, during, during the painting thing, it sounds like Geralt's talking in past tense, and I find that, that interesting, because it makes me wonder, like, is this game, in, like, basically a story that's being told by Geralt? In like 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 um is is it one of those kind of things like this is a story of how I died except not died but you know it's, it's like it's him reflecting on things so every cutscene is it's viewed through that same lens that you know it's Geralt but um after this is all over with you know it's not a commentary in the moment or or, or am I just is this just a, a case of you know that um, dialogue being janky as it is. Can I? Yeah, I gotta use the strong style. This fast style is just not working. Come on. Okay, I got it. Cool. So three giant centipedes. That actually might be enough to complete that quest. I can't remember how much I needed. There we go. I should see the elven craftsman and collect my reward. Sweet. 
I was not expecting to survive that. I saw, when I saw more than one pop up, I was like, oh, because fighting just one. Admittedly, with a light style, I should have been using a heavy style, but um, I'm so used to missing that I just, you know, default to the quick style so I can make sure I at least get hits in. But yeah, a, def a strong style definitely worked, seemed to work better uh, against that. Um, but yeah, like, I, I find that. Uh, the, those the the cutscene interesting in that way. I don't know. Um, I'll have to go back and watch some of the other ones to see if, if there's a consistency with the the tone um, that is used uh, by Geralt in them. Uh, another thing that I, I wonder about. Um, no, no, sorry, no, it's not something I wonder about. It's just uh, as I'm watch, uh, as I'm, you know, getting to know Geralt a little bit more. At least this this uh, side of him, this representation of him, I, I, I like. I don't know, I, I like how responsible he is. He's kind of like, uh, you, you kind of get the, the idea that the... You know, he's, uh... He has a heart? <laughs> I guess it's the best way I could um, put that. Um, wh where am I going right now? So, see safe, I can focus on other matters. I need... Alright, so right now I'm dealing with two quests. I'm dealing with the bridge. And I want to cash in the giant centipede. So let's go hand in that quest. And then um, I need to go talk to... Was it was it Alina? Yeah, I believe it was Alina. Uh, talk to her about how to deal with Griggs. And she might have books that I could I, I could um, use. Now, um, I'm thinking about the rewards. Like 400 Orins. I'm like, you know what? I've got a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, Orins. I really don't feel like I need any more. I feel like I'm, I, I'm doing all right. Uh, let me see how much how much money do I have? Yeah, six thousand uh, four hundred twenty-three. So I feel like you know I'm pretty good, although I'm not sure how much the next armor is gonna cost me. Cause like uh, upgrading to the one I currently have was what five thousand. So I'm wondering, you know, is it gonna is it gonna be like ten thousand to upgrade to the the next one? You know, if I find a next one, or is that gonna be part of the quest? I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster, and it wasn't afraid at all. Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar is afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you! I want to be a witcher! Do you think it's fun? Sure! One like you, not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never... Grow ill? Hmm. We never get sick, but that costs us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? It's not true that witchers are never afraid. Besides, none remain who can complete the mutation. And wouldn't you rather be a knight? Hmm. It's not true that witchers are never afraid. Okay, so l let me think about this. Which one, which, wh wh what are we trying to sell him here? I, I feel like we don't want to encourage him to be a witcher. I feel like that's kind of like the responsible thing. It's like, um, hmm. This is an interesting thing, because um, technically the witchers that were made, they were kind of taken against their will, right? As children. And then in here we have a child who wants to be a witcher. So we're kind of like, it's, it, it, to, to me it reminds me, of, there's a, there was a quest in uh, we did in Morrowind uh, when we were a vampire about somebody who wanted to become a vampire. And it, I feel like it's the kind of same kind of thing. Like, it's a cursed existence. It has a lot of downsides. Uh, and... You know, I don't think people like f fully grasp it. Uh, you, you, like, if if that's all you want to do is like fight things, like even then, Geralt. Has, it seems like Geralt has regrets, right? Because it seems like you know Geralt would have. Would he have liked a family? I'm trying to remember here, like some of the the stuff that's been said. Like, it it, it, it is his, um, is his reservations. Uh, that, uh, you know, it, because he doesn't have a choice. Like, if Geralt had the choice to do it over again, you know, would he just want a family? Or does he honestly like what he does? And I feel like basically with what he said to Alvin already, it's like he's, tr he's already hinting that, you know, he gets afraid. He is afraid at times. And, and I'm like looking at... Like even looking at the tone of these these things, all of these are trying to dissuade him. Like all there there are no there is no option to actually encourage him. Now is that because of uh, an approach I took earlier in the game, and now it's kind of locked me into this path, uh, or is this just 
kind of like pick your flavor of Geralt. You know, what what side of Geralt are you going to bring out? Like, like how are you going to represent the, the character of Geralt? Like, you, you, we know who he is. And which one of these responses, like, they, they are, they're all responses that Geralt would say, but which one of them are you choosing? You know, I'm, I'm actually looking at, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I'm doing this again, where uh, it's like, there's a, it's a simple choice, it might actually have no impact on any, anything, but I'm looking at this and I'm kind of like, there, there's so much to unpack here, like, sure, one like you, not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave, they never grow ill. So, this, uh, I see this as three separate things. And which is, you know, co coincidentally, or incidentally, um, uh, th there's three different options, that I f which I feel actually address all three of these. Uh, one thing, they never grow ill. Well, the top one uh, addresses this, you know, we never get sick. Um, and, but, you know, we still do feel pain. Witches are so brave. Well, it's not true that witches are never afraid. Okay. And then, not like Berengar. Now, I, I feel like Geralt is kind of knightly in a way. He does have that, um, he does have a code and he does seem to be like a decent person. He, uh, he's conflicted because he has a set of rules that he, he lives by, but he does have his own morals, which often kind of come into conflict with those rules. Like even in the books, you know, there's a couple instances where it's like he's torn between, you know, what, what he should be doing. Like all, I'm a monster slayer. That's all I do and what he feels is the right thing and something that he has the power to to affect so i would i would actually say that Geralt has a bit of that um the the, the qualities of a knight that that honorable kind of aspect to him he, he might not actually be like uh nobility or no you, you know what i'm saying he's not he's not like a knight in that sense and he can't be but as as far as like his heart goes i feel like he's got the heart of a knight so to me like every one of these addresses something that um something a different aspect here that's being uh that's being talked about now if i say wouldn't you rather be a knight the kid's gonna say no no because what he, he, he what he's doing is it's like hero worship he looks at Geralt and he's like i want to be like Geralt. and so if you say wouldn't you want to be a knight he's gonna be like i don't want to be like a knight like knights aren't cool you're cool i want to be like you that's basically what he's saying he's saying he wants to be like Geralt. And I feel like, let me see, we never get sick, there's pain. So I feel like what we, we need to do is we need to address his misconceptions about Geralt. So offering him, to, or suggesting him he become a knight, it's not going to work. Because he wants to be Geralt. He has the wrong idea, like he knows that they never get sick, but, and I'm sure he understands that they, 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 they hurt, you know, there's, there's pain involved. But I feel like this, this one here is kind of... Um, I don't know, the second part, let me see. It's not true that witchers are never afraid. Now, I feel like that is the main, uh, the main misconception he has about Geralt. He seems to think that Geralt is never afraid, but Geralt seems to be implying constantly that he is actually afraid. He does get scared. He's even said, you know, that, you know, if, if those who never, uh, who are never afraid, they're, they're idiots. Um, and besides, none remain who can complete the mutation. So by saying this, like, I feel like that's like saying, you know, no, I do get afraid, and you can't become a witcher. It, it just it, it will never happen. And I feel like from there, then you can then you can slide into what about a knight? Let's go with number two. <laughs> I sorry, I, I used up a lot of time just thinking about this one. It's not true that witchers are never afraid. Besides, none remain who can complete the mutation. Too bad. That would be really nice. Sorry, possessed child. That stinks. Okay, whatever. I told Alvin that becoming a witcher is impossible now that none remain who can complete the mutations. That's not what I was focusing on. But alright, that's cool. Anything else, Alvin? Oh, okay. Alright, so uh, what were we doing? We were we were going to cash in a contract. That's right, for the uh, giant centipedes. What are we? We're sitting at, what, 130? Alright. There's still plenty of time before uh, night falls. Uh, I want to cash in the... Um, the centipede uh, quest, and then I want to, um, like I said, I want to go ahead and talk to, I, th I think her name's Alina, right? The witch? No, Abigail, you idiot. Abigail. Right. I want to talk to her. Hello, Elvin Crossman. I have something for you. Yes. 
I'm here about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Yes. Finally! I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toll. Toil, even! All right, what do I get? 250 orens! Yay! Wait, wait, what? Wait a second. Oh, I accidentally- Okay, okay, look it. Uh, I was like, wait, small problems. The bridge. A mason named Harn asked for my help. Some malicious creatures are destroying the bridge he's building. I should ask the healer how to deal with Griggs. The four-leaf clover. The Griggs accepted my gift and left me a four-leaf clover in return. I should give it to Harn, who's sure to see it as a good motive. Omen, sorry. Oh! Okay! So I did a little bit of a sequence break there. I, uh, I, um... I, I basically gave the, the, the thingamabob, which... Oh, man, I might not even have... No, I did need to use a strong. I needed something that was strong enough to be a potion base. Uh, everything else was grayed out. So I guess I don't even really need to talk to Abigail now? And I guess I didn't even need to run all this way! Okay. That, that's cool. I can just, um... Um... Go back and give him the four-leaf clover I had on me the whole time! Sure! Okay! That works. Oh, that's cool. It's like they're taking shifts. Alright, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and just talk to Mason uh, Harn. Uh, I, 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 I was going to run back to Abigail to talk to her, but I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, I made a deal with the Griggs. Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? How long will the repairs take? Um, why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the divine statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about, you know, talking to them? Even if I could ward off the night demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans. I made a deal with the Griggs. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. Oh, crap. The book about spect- I should have- I, th oh, I should have thought about this again. Mm, okay, well, the sun is probably going to be useless. As cool as it sounds uh, to have, like, an archer by my side, it, he's, he's going to get himself killed, and I'm going to be like, oh, yay. Um... I don't remember if I have a book about specters. I think I al already do. So I'm kind of thinking gold. Crap. Um, but it might be cool to see uh, to see what, what it's like having the sun's help. <sighs> I think I'm going to just go with gold. I, I, I kind of feel like... I think I've already got a book on specters. I already have the entries in my thing. If I recall correctly, I actually read about the, like, the king of the wild hunt, whatever, my Bob guy, and... I guess I'm just gonna go with the gold? It feels like a shame, but okay. I prefer gold. 400 orins as promised. Thank you! Alright, now I need to- I need to check my journal and make sure. Come on, monsters! This is Spectre Mabobs, or there Spectre Mabobs Night Ra- There is no- Uh... I do have the Wild Hunt! Okay. Yeah, and Race... I, uh, maybe, maybe I don't have everything? I, uh, I figured I would. Anyways, okay. Uh, so that, now that that is done, uh, what's over there? Ruins. Actually, did I check out these ruins? Giant centipede. Alright, so we've gone ahead and we've killed, uh, the giant centipedes. Oh yeah, there is a set of ruins over here. I kind of want to explore that. Just eat something, get a little bit of our health back. There's a basket. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, strong alcohol, that's it's great. That's basically what we needed uh, to... Uh, ah, darn it. Inventory's full. Why do I have all this food on me? Alright, just drop some raspberries, because those look like raspberries. Another giant centipede over there. A skeleton. All right, I'm, I have a feeling as I approach the skeleton, I'm going to get attacked. No, I'm good. Why, why can't I search the skeleton? I, hello, skeleton. It's like it's it's just a skeleton. There's there's nothing to actually search. Okay. 
Is that it? There's just uh, some ruins with a skeleton in the middle of it? Well, surely there's got to be something else back here. Okay, those look like wolves. Wolves, giant centipedes all over the place here. I mean, I probably could s sell those um, carapaces for uh, like a decent amount, right? Because I'm trying to figure out right now, I'm like, do I, is it, like, I don't think, I don't have a quest over here right now. I know I've got to deal with a few other things. Um, so... Oh. Uh, I was experimenting with my signs a bit there, sorry. Like, this might be a good place to sort of, like, farm up stuff for money. But I don't really see any point to really coming out here. Yet, I guess. <laughs> it's hard to say, because I haven't seen anything, but, like, actually, if I look over off in the distance, it looks like... That's basically just the passage to the fields, right? So, yeah, I basically just took a back way around. Oh, hello! Oh, that's right, there was a, um... Uh, a quest to deal with, um, drowners to get back a, um, <laughs> what was it? We're right here. Uh, I still must tend to the drowners on the riverbank for the, um, Nyad, the, the necklace. That's one of the quests we, actually, that's a quest we got early in this chapter, so I feel like I should probably go ahead and do that. Like, I, I feel like I'm close to it. So, We'll say to sort of save time. Oh, no. Oh, all right. No, wrong sword, Geralt. Hurry up. You're dying. I wonder. Can I put my, um, whatever, whatever my Bob sign down over top where it comes up? I doubt it. Yeah, that's, that's great. Just put it right where you're standing there. Great, great job, Geralt. So, yeah, it's because you, you can't really, um, go over top of the space where the centipede comes out of the ground and so uh you can't really put that trap sign thing over top of it so all right give me a second and then it occurs to me drowners only come out n at night oh man oh this is a kind of a, a nice effect i kind of like this spot i like how clear the water is and you can kind of see uh where it goes uh goes down i, I like this i like this place this is cool you know what, this is actually probably a good place for me to stop things. So we're gonna go ahead and end things here. Um, next time we'll, uh, we will recover the necklace. I believe we have to go warn Julian about some crap. Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at the journal and see what other quests we have to do in the area. The, the area is starting to feel, uh, pretty well explored. So I'm starting to feel like, okay, yeah, we're starting to make, uh, progress through the chapter. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. It's cool. Um... Yeah, uh, I do want to go ahead and talk to Abigail again. E even though we completed the quest, I'm wondering if she does have any... No, I think I already checked out her books. Whatever, we, we, can, we can discuss all those things next time. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.